So earlier we talked about this millimeter of mercury. What the heck does that mean? Well, it has to do with how these things called manometer, which is pressure sensor, are built. A very basic way to build one is using these things called YouTubes. Not where you watch movies or short clips. It's a U tube because it's a tube shaped like a U. In this little U-shaped tube, what you have is you fill it with a certain amount of fluid, and this side of the container here, it's open usually to P atmosphere. Doesn't have to be, but just simple construction, we make it open to the atmosphere. And what happens is if you apply a certain amount of pressure over here, more than the P atmosphere, it's gonna push the fluid over and as a result have it rise. How high does it rise? It rise enough so that when it is at this level again, that this chunk of fluid on top pushes down with the same pressure as it's being pushed on the other side. So in a fluid that is not moving, when you're at the same height, you should have the same pressure. And so we can measure pressure in terms of this height here, and that's where the millimeter comes in. If you're using mercury as your fluid, which we'll see has certain advantages through this question, we can talk about pressure in terms of the height of the fluid column. That's why it's millimeter. But in this case, we're not using mercury, we're using water. So the density of water is pretty much by definition a thousand, unless we let you know otherwise. And so the pressure at this point, you're still supporting all the atmosphere on top, but you also have the pressure from the extra fluid on top, which is given by density of water times height times G. And in our case, we're again considering gauge pressure. So we'll set atmospheric pressure to be zero because what's being implied here is this 300 millimeter mercury is also 300 millimeter mercury more than atmospheric pressure, also expressed in gauge pressure. To find the height, we do some quick rearrangement. So we have 300 millimeter worth of mercury, and then we have to convert the millimeter worth of mercury into Pascal, and the unit works out to give you meters, as long as you're using Pascal when you divide by kilograms and meters, etc., etc. So in order to have that much water column on top of the points that you are using, you need the actual sensor to be that high. So you can see how a four meter tall pressure sensor can be a little bit hard to move around. And that's why traditionally, even though mercury is so poisonous and you don't really want to touch it, we use it because the mercury has a density that's roughly 14 times the fluid of the water. So we can make the pressure sensor to be 1 14th the size of one that is filled using water. Of course, nowadays it's also possible to have electronics ones as well, which can be really quite tiny. 